Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone without checking TFRs? So let's get started. First of all, what is a TFR? Well, TFR stands for Temporary Flight Restriction. The FAA states that a TFR is a type of notice to air missions or a NOTAM that defines an area that's restricted to air travel due to a hazardous condition, a special event, or just a general warning for FAA airspace. TFR types can be listed as air show, hazards, security, space operations, special or VIP. Now, what do TFRs have to do with flying your drone? Well, part 107.47 titled flight restrictions in the proximity of certain areas designated by notice to airmen states a person acting as a remote pilot in command must comply with the provisions of parts 91.137 through 91.145 and 99.7 of this chapter. 91.137 through 91.145 outline flight restrictions for all aircraft, including drones. They cover things like restrictions in the vicinity of disasters or hazards, emergency air traffic rules, restrictions for presidential travel, space flight operations, aerial demonstrations, and certain sporting events. These regulations give the FAA authorization to issue TFRs for these situations. In addition to these specific temporary restrictions, keep in mind that there are some more long-term standing TFRs like 0 0367 for stadiums with capacities of 30,000 people or more during major sporting events. If you're not aware, a recreational pilot in Baltimore was recently fined $500 and sentenced to one year probation for violating that TFR. The airspace over National Football League games during a game is national defense airspace. So the FAA is very serious about it. So can you fly your drone without checking TFRs? Well, technically no, you can't because part 107.47 states that you have to comply with TFR restrictions. And the only way to know if you are complying is to know if there are any active TFRs. You can check TFRs through the FAA's TFR website or the NOTAM search site, and we'll have those links below. Your pro tip for this week is just get familiar with the TFR and the NOTAM websites and searching for TFRs and NOTAMs in the areas that you fly. Keep in mind that not all NOTAMs are TFRs, so they don't always impose flight restrictions. Even though they aren't TFRs, some NOTAMs have words like UAS operators are strongly advised to avoid UAS operations. It's probably worthwhile to just adhere to those warnings. So thanks for watching and let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question that we can address in a future video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach channel so that you'll be notified in the future of upcoming videos. From all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying, and we'll see you next time.